Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David, just back from helping out at a friend's wedding with my awesome wife, Karen. Well, today we're going to take a quick look at a tough little survival radio that I recently discovered. The Ambient Weather WR1059. Let's get right to it. Ambient Weather WR1059 is a mini hand crank and solar powered emergency AM, FM, and weather band radio that's 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters wide, 3 and a quarter inches or 8.2 centimeters high, and about 2 inches or 5.1 centimeters deep, and it weighs only 7 ounces or 198 grams. The shell of this radio is made out of an impressively durable feeling plastic that's already taken some abuse by me since I've toted it around in my bug out bag and have been messing with it for a couple of weeks now. So in the front we have an 8 ohm half watt mono speaker that's protected by a pretty hefty metal grill. And then there's this red LED light in the bottom front corner that indicates signal strength and helps with the tuning. On one side we have a simple but durable OD green colored tuning dial that's raised about a sixteenth of an inch or about 1.7 millimeters off the side of the radio. Because this dial is nearly flush with the side, the chance of busting it are pretty low. And around the edge of the dial there's this notch bump pattern that gives some good grip for tuning. Okay, now this is a bare bones radio that doesn't have a digital screen. We just have the frequency markings for each band printed on the inner part of the dial. And finding your station is pretty easy, but you want to make sure that you have the antenna up for best reception. Found the dial pretty easy to tune, and the old school nature of this radio brought back some memories from my teen years many moons ago. Okay, now below the tuning dial we have this simple three position band switch. Again, the switch is very close to the surface of the radio, and it feels like it's a pretty decent quality. Now on the other side, we have this dial on and off switch and volume control. It's identical in size, design, and quality to the tuning dial on the other side. Turn this dial clockwise to power the radio up and adjust the volume. To switch the unit off, simply turn the dial counterclockwise until you hear a click. Below this switch, we have a headphone jack. In our testing, using small headphones opposed to the onboard speaker seemed to extend the battery life about 25%. Now on the top of the unit, we have this good quality telescoping antenna that goes from about a half inch or 1.3 centimeters high to nearly 9 inches or 23 centimeters when fully extended. Next to the antenna, we have another small red LED that lights up when the unit is receiving enough power from either the built-in solar panel or hand crank to charge the onboard battery. This is a really handy indicator, especially when you're trying to charge the unit using the sun, because it gives you a visual indicator that you're getting enough sun to charge the battery. So most of the top of this radio is wisely taken up by this solid and sizable solar panel. Okay, now let's look at the back. On the back we have this hand crank that recesses into the back of the radio for protection when not in use. I was actually really surprised at how substantial this crank handle felt for its size. Honestly, most hand crank radio handles feel really cheap, but this one actually feels like it'll last with a reasonable amount of care. Okay, here's something you really need to know. This unit is powered only by either the solar panel or hand crank. When I found this unit, I was a little bit concerned, because I like to be in control and I like options. But once I experienced how easy it is to charge the radio using the hand crank and solar panel, I was really sold on the simplicity of the design of this radio. Now to power the ambient weather mini emergency radio with the hand crank, simply turn the crank either clockwise or counterclockwise. I found the hand cranking to be really easy, and it's cool that when you turn this handle, you actually see the red LED light on top of the unit come on, which means you're charging the battery. Okay, so to test how much playtime you get with hand cranking and through the solar panel, we first ran the original charge totally out of the unit, then I hand cranked for one minute, and much to my surprise, I got over 15 minutes of playtime on a local radio station through the speaker with the volume up about a quarter of the way. I repeated this process several times and got similar results. Next, we ran the radio down to nothing again, took it outside, faced the solar panel towards the sun. We left the radio outside for exactly one hour and got about 20 minutes of playtime playtime out of the radio. This was a real surprise considering that the radio packaging says that 5 hours in the sun will yield about 30 minutes of playtime. But again, it was a totally clear day. Maybe we got lucky, so just know that your results might vary. Now I also noticed on a trek in the mountains with all the leaves off the trees, the red light on top was on, which means that the unit was actually charging in indirect sunlight that was filtering through the trees. So this unit does charge in less than full indirect sunlight. 
Two other cool things about this solar charger. The solar panel will charge the unit while it's on, so it is possible to listen to it while you trek and have it charging at the same time. And by accident, I noticed that you can even trickle charge the unit on a desk under a fluorescent bulb if the solar panel is just a few inches away from your desk lamp. So the battery that's in this unit is a 2.4 volt, 300 mAh nickel metal hydride battery. And of course I was curious to see whether it could be accessed and replaced. So I removed the four small Phillips head screws from the back of the unit, found that anyone who is confident with soldering electronics could easily replace this battery for only a few bucks if it ever fails. Now I haven't fully charged this radio yet, but the packaging says that the playtime with a full charge is 7 hours, which seems pretty reasonable. Okay, let's take a look at what others say about this unit. Owners comment on the surprising quality of the ambient weather WR1059 for its low price, as well as the more than adequate volume, ease of use, how solid the unit is, how easily it charges by either hand cranking or through the solar panel. We rate the ambient weather radio at a solid 4 out of 5 stars for its convenient super small size, durable build, ease of use, how well the hand crank and solar power plants work, and for its really, really low Amazon US price at less than $13 a piece. Now I will let you know that I picked up two of these units on Amazon US for right around $15 plus shipping. That's a pretty cool deal considering that its next closest competitor is almost twice that much for one emergency radio. So who's this mini emergency radio for? The ambient weather WR1059 is for anyone, period. No, I'm serious. This is an excellent and functional everyday, go anywhere, bare bones, but highly functional off the grid radio that's great for camping, backpacking, hunting, fishing, travel, missionaries, emergency kits, bug out bags, students, and this cool unit would make a unique and thoughtful gift for anyone who might find themselves away from or without power for an extended period of time. Now if you want an emergency radio with a few more bells and whistles, like a USB phone charger and a built in LED light, check out my reviews of the Eaton American Red Cross emergency radio and the Ambient Weather WR333. So we've just taken a look at the Ambient Weather WR1059 emergency hand crank and solar power radio. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And while you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side and remember, be prepared because you never know.